Hi there, today we're going to be sharing in a given ratio. Sharing in a given ratio. To share quantities in a given ratio, first we sum up all the parts of the ratio. Second, we divide the quantity or number by the sum of the parts. Third, we multiply the number of parts required. For example, we want to share 200 milliliters of paint in the ratio 2 to 3, in the order green paint to blue paint. First, we will sum up the parts of the ratio. Take a look at the diagram on the right. We have two parts of green and three parts of blue. Altogether, there are five parts. We then divide the quantity 200 milliliters by five parts to find out how many milliliters one part is. 200 milliliters divided by five parts equals to 40 milliliters. So each part is worth 40 milliliters. Green paint is two parts of the ratio. We can do 2 multiplied 40 milliliters to get 80 milliliters of green paint. Blue paint is 3 parts of the ratio. 3 multiplied 40 milliliters gives us 120 milliliters. We will need 120 milliliters of blue paint. Let's take a look at some examples. Share $400 in the ratio 1 to 4. First, we'll sum up the parts. The total amount of parts will equal to 1 part plus four parts. There are five parts altogether. In this diagram, we can see that we want to share $400 into five equal parts. One share will be one part, the other share will be four parts. To find out how much one part is worth, we can do $400 divided by five parts. We will then get $80. Each part is worth $80. We can put this into our diagram. One part is worth $80. To find out how much four parts is worth, we can do four multiplied by $80. Four parts is worth $320. Therefore, $400 shared in the ratio 1 to 4 will yield $80 to $320. Here is our next example. You harvested apples and strawberries from your garden. The ratio of apples to strawberries is 2 to 7. If you harvested 36 fruits altogether, how many apples did you collect? First, we'll find the total amount of parts. The total parts will be 2 plus 7. This gives us 9 parts. We can then find out how much one part is worth. We can do that by doing 36 fruits divided by 9 parts. One part is worth 4 fruits. Apples are worth 2 parts of the ratio. To find the number of apples, we can do 2 multiplied by 4 fruits. This gives us 8. Therefore, we have 8 apples that were harvested. Here is our last example. You are making a drink using fruit juice and water in the ratio 5 to 3. You have 200 milliliters of fruit juice. How much water do you need? To make our drink, we need fruit juice and water. The ratio is 5 to 3. We have 200 milliliters of fruit juice and we are missing the amount of water needed. To find out the amount of water needed, we can look at how much the ratio has increased. On the left hand side, we had five parts fruit juice. That became 200 milliliters. To get there, we can multiply that side by 40. To find the amount of water needed, we can multiply the right hand side by 40 as well. Therefore, the amount of water required can be found by multiplying 3 with 40.
We will then get 120 millilitres of water. The other way to solve this question is to first find out how much one part is worth. To do that, we can do 200 millilitres divided by 5 to get one part. One part is worth 40 millilitres. Three parts water times 40 millilitres will give us 120 millilitres.